Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about the Boston University Supplemental Essays. And I'm not talking about no pocket in the car in Harvard Yard. I'm talking about how do you look wicked smart? Let's find out. All right, so first, what does BU ask of you? They're asking, what about being a student at Boston University most excites you? Now, this is basically a Why Us essay. And if you haven't seen it already, click below this video and you'll find a complete guide to the Why Us essay. And this is kind of building on that guide. So assuming you've already watched that video, and if you haven't, it's worth checking out. Here are five specific tips for writing this essay. Now, I'm gonna give you three sort of foundational tips, things that you should probably do, and then I'm gonna give you two advanced tips for if you're, you know, advanced. Now, I find these are best shown through examples, so take a look at this example essay. From first looking at countries' GDPs without knowing what they meant, to exploring Keynes and Marx and neoclassical theory, I love that there was a peacock going on crazy in the backyard. I got these peacocks going off in the backyard and I don't know where they're coming from. All right, back to the essay. From first looking at countries' GDPs without knowing what they meant, to exploring Keynes and Marx and neoclassical theory, I love that economics challenges me to think about conflicts and aspects like religion, culture, and ethics that have significant impact on our lives. At Boston University, I want to explore how these important issues can be analyzed through economics. All right, tip number one, name your major at the start. Why? It gives us a sense of why you are going to college in the first place, what your focus is. Next paragraph. I'm interested in both behavioral economics and developmental economics. Even though I've not studied them in school, books like The Undercover Economist and TED Talks have made me curious about different branches in economics. Boston University professor Raymond Fisman's research paper, Experience on Communal Conflicts and Intergroup Lending, explores the connection between religion-based communal violence and lending, a connection I find interesting as religion is one of the factors that has enabled the economic development of my father's hometown in India. All right, second tip, make it personal. So notice, first of all, how this student has done his research into the school, and he's giving specific details about a particular professor and their particular paper that they've written, and then he's connecting it back to his specific life, right? In this case, this is a connection to the development of his father's hometown in India. So tip number two, connect it back to you. Third paragraph. Apart from economics courses, Boston University's community interests me because of things like India Club and Debate Club. India Club will help me to feel at home, and I really like debating, which has made me open to and aware of different beliefs and values, and has connected me to people with different opinions. Now, quick pro tip, the sentences he wrote here probably could have appeared in someone else's YS essay, so as much as possible, any sentence that you read that could have been in somebody else's essay, cut it, rewrite it. Quick recap, number one, name your major, number two, connect it back to you, and number three, if you've got enough space, Talk about something outside the classroom that you're into. But for those of you who are a little more advanced, here's another example essay and two more tips. Check it out. If plotted on a three-dimensional graph, BU stands as the intersection between science, X equals one, humanities, Y equals one, and a global education, Z equals one. At point one zero zero, you'll find CAS BI 206 genetics, while CAS XL 342, travel writing in the Muslim world, will likely be found closer to zero point you see what's going on here? Tip number four, if you can, come up with a clever opening that draws us in. Notice how this author shows her math knowledge and geekiness through specific examples from the school, which also shows she's done her research. Quick pro tip, this student totally reused her opening for this YS essay for other schools like NYU that she was applying to that also have YS essays, and you can too. She just switched out the variables of the courses. And don't worry, schools aren't gonna like call each other to check in, like NYU's not gonna call BU up and be like, hey, uh, yeah, did you see a Sarah Smith's essay? Oh, yeah. Yeah, she used that old math thing? Yeah, she did that for us, too. All right, uh, I'm gonna call uh, Willie Potatoes and Joey Bananas, and uh, we'll take care of it, all right? Probably not gonna happen. And by the way, all New Yorkers do not sound like that. And all Bostonites don't go to donkeys every morning. Stereotypes are bad. Second paragraph. In our three-dimensional world, BU prepares the next generation of students to see beyond X and Y. Nice transition as a budding geneticist and physician. By the way, I'm a budding geneticist and physician. I'm often told that I will have to sacrifice fundamental pieces of who I am in order to pursue a career in science. But as a, insert numbers, as an avid researcher, but also an activist, volunteer, and community advocate, I know that I have to find a college that allows me to grow in all directions. You see what she's doing there? 
I know the BU is exactly that. And final paragraph, here's the other tip. Because an entire college experience can never be broken down into numbers alone, I hope to work in the lab with Dr. Ho as her research builds off the work I'm currently involved in at Columbia University to study genomes for disease-causing mutations. If you've done some research in this area, weave it in here, it's not a bad idea. And another one, mini tip, if you can use some geeky language like uh, genomes and disease-causing mutations, I don't even know what she's talking about. I'm just going back and forth between New York and Boston. Quick recap of these. Number four, if you can find a clever opening and ideally something that could rework for other schools, and that's good. And number five, if you can weave it back to experience that you've had researching and maybe include a little geeky language, that can work too. Thanks so much. You can go to collegeessayguy.com for more tips. And uh, if it does so happen that you're applying to NYU, I got your tips right here, right below this video. Just click that. And uh, if you want to click subscribe, then uh, yeah. You get more videos, you click that little notification bell and you get weekly videos coming out. Help you through this college process thing, you know? And I'll see you next time.